can Bass Baits Monthly continue their streak of being one of the better bass fishing subscription tackle boxes? We're going to find out. If you're new to subscription fishing tackle boxes, Bass Baits Monthly is a monthly bass subscription fishing tackle box. It's like getting uh, Christmas in the middle of the month. They send seven or eight baits every every month, and it's about thirty bucks, thirty-five bucks. Bass Baits Monthly is one of the better ones that is out there. Um, I think. Excluding Florida Tackle Club, I think Bass Baits Monthly is one that's worth subscribing to. And if it is a subscription, you pay for one month and then it's a reoccurring thing until you cancel. Let's open it up and check it out together. Every month they do send you a way of a different way of tying knots. This month is the blood knot. And if you want a promo code, you can look right there and you can see some promo codes too. Maybe you get a sticker. It goes in the trash. Well, they started us off with some Pro Series X Zone three and a half inch mini swammers. Never heard of it like that, but not bad. Kind of reminds me of another bait that I've seen recently. Not bad. Next, from Lucky Craft, it is the Lucky Craft LC 2.5 and Crazy Green Craw, a little square bill crankbait. Not bad either. Next, they sent a Bomber Model A see that right there next they sent us uh, from river to sea the D Walker 100 in white in ice white next they sent us an underspin from fish head that's a half ounce they sent a wow this is the first time I've ever seen a six cents divine swim jig that is surprising you don't see six cents stuff in subscription tackle boxes unless it's in their own that is impressive and then last but not least i had to look at that one they sent a skeet reese lucky skeet reese uh spinnerbait you can see right there Five eighths of an ounce. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, the the swim jig, the uh, the skeet reese spinner bait. You got the underspin. I appreciate. You got two soft plastics. The D Walker from River to Sea. The X Zone Swammers. You got two hard baits. Not a bad box. Not a bad box at all. Um, on like we do, I want to know what you think. We're gonna we're gonna give it our rating first. You give it a rating of the quality of products um, on a one to ten. Comment below and tell me what you think. On a one to ten, for me, I think this is probably I'm gonna go nine one four nine one four. I love that uh, the new scale on fishability. Now I gotta open up and look at it again. I think everything for me is fishable except maybe this bomber. And the bomber, it says, uh, dives. Doesn't say how much it dives. And if it does, I might not be able to read it because it's too much. But the di that might be a little bit too big of a square bill for me. But not bad. Still, it's not a bad box. I think I'd give it probably a nine, nine and a quarter for fishability. Now I want to know what you think. I want to know what your uh, what you think on the fishability of it is, and also the quality name products. It's not bad. It's again another pretty good, pretty good box from Bass Baits Monthly. They continue to to impress me month after month. 
So it's one of the ones I appreciate and that I stick with. I've gotten this for several months and I think there's only been one month I was really disappointed. The rest of them I've been, uh, I've been impressed with every time. They've exceeded expectations every time. So minor interruption here. Bass Baits Monthly is a monthly subscription box and they charge you X amount of money. And for months and months, I've been really happy with it, but we gotta keep it real. So in this side, you're gonna see what this, this box cost me this month. And this is the overall value if I bought these products one by one on Tackle Warehouse. As you'll see, it's like a buck difference. And that's disappointing. Uh, if you're looking for an overall value, a good value, I have to keep it real and say, Bass Baits Monthly doesn't do it. That doesn't give you an overall value. In fact, to have a $1 difference really pisses me off. Because I would rather spend that $41 or $42 or $43 and go to my local store and purchase the things that I want. Now there's stuff in there that I will use and there's stuff that will be new that I've never used before. But it's not the colors I want and it's not the sizes that I want either and there's one bait in there that I for sure won't be able to use. So I know some people are not going to be happy with that but we just got to be real. We just got to keep it real and honest. And to have a $1 discrepancy or $1 difference between what they charged me and what I received in the mail sucks. If you want more information about Bass Baits Monthly, there it is, BassBaitsMonthly.com. Of course, thanks for hitting that subscribe and that like button. I appreciate it. Comment below and tell me what you think. And of course, if you want to help out the channel, by all means, turn on those notifications and that thumbs up button because that really was helps us out. Guys, remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. See you soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing.